All right, so on a problem like this, here I have another one. But now I have a triangle, and the triangle is now embedded in another figure. Kind of cool, right? So, but still, all I'm asking you to do is find H. So I need to determine, well, what is H? Is H the hypotenuse? Is it a leg? You know, what is everything? And I'll say, well, can I apply, you know, uh, Pythagorean theorem? But before that, I need to make sure I have a right, angle, right triangle, which I do, right? You see the little box. So therefore, I determine that, hey, 7 is my hypotenuse, and I know the value of that. So I write out my Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I know what my hypotenuse is, right? Because remember, it's, let me put it to you this way. It's leg squared plus leg squared equals your hypotenuse squared. We know the hypotenuse is 7. And we know what one leg is, but we don't know what the other leg is. So we say 3 squared plus h squared. Yeah? Kind of? Maybe? All right, so now let's go and see. 3 squared is going to become 9. h squared is just h squared equals 49. 7 times 7 is 49, right? 7 squared, number squared is 7 times 7, or a number by itself. Subtract 9. h squared equals 40. Then I take the square root of both sides. h is going to equal. In this case, if I was going to simplify, you could either write the square root, use a calculator, and figure it out, or the simplified version would be 2 square root of 10. All right? So therefore, you could say, oh, well, this distance of the leg is 2 square root of 10. OK? Make sense? Any questions? So now what I'm going to do is